Hello and welcome to this video. You are a self-taught programmer or you think about teaching yourself how to program? Great! Then this video is for you. Today I want to talk about what the difference is between a self-taught programmer and a software engineer and what you as a self-taught programmer should do and should learn to become a software engineer and this will also make it easier for you to find a job in software engineering and be a better programmer overall. But before we do that, let me first introduce myself. My name is Florian. I'm a computer science professor, but I started my career in software engineering as a self-taught programmer more than 20 years ago. I learned to code on my own. I also did freelance projects where I applied what I learned. And then I did a computer science degree I did a PhD in computer science. I worked in industry and looking back at what I did as a self-taught programmer and what I learned in being a software engineer, I want to give you my advice and also my observations. So why is a self-taught programmer not a software engineer? To understand that, let's look at a different example. We all can learn how to use power tools, for instance, and we can build with those tools and with wood things. But this ability to build things with power tools in wood doesn't necessarily make us to a carpenter. There are things a carpenter knows that you as a self-taught hobbyist don't know. And that's okay. And it's the same with self-taught programmers. So what's the difference here between a self-taught programmer and a software engineer? Well, a self-taught programmer is somebody that knows how to program, that knows how to solve a problem that somebody has by writing a program. That can be a web application, that can be a smartphone app, that can be some other application, something you wrote in a programming language that solves a business problem, for instance. Now, a software engineer is somebody that does software engineering. And software engineering is more than just programming. Software engineering means you have a systematic approach to elicitate the requirements for the thing you are going to implement. A systematic approach to build the design, to structure your software. Then, of course, also systematic approach to implement your software and to test your software and later on also to maintain your software. And that's the key difference between somebody that knows how to program and a software engineer. A software engineer is doing the things that he or she does in a systematic way. So if you already know how to program, the next thing that you should learn is processes on how to develop an engineer software, the different ways on how to elicitate requirements, to structure requirements, to get an agreement with your customer about what it is that you need to implement, systematic ways on how to design and structure your software, and then of course also the process of how to implement and test your software and then later on how to maintain it. Because those are the key things that you need to know as a software engineer and that you don't necessarily learn when you just teach yourself programming or sometimes even you don't learn them when you go through a programming bootcamp. But if you learn those things and if you master those things, you will be able to create high quality software in a much better time than before. Which also means that you will be able to earn more money or create more value if you are working for a company. And that's why it's important for all the self-taught programmers out there to understand that there is more than just programming and that software engineering is something that you need to learn on top of programming. What's your opinion? I'm interested in your opinion. I'm interested in what you have learned this far. 
what you have found difficult to learn as a self-taught software engineer or a self-taught programmer, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you have liked this video, if you have learned something today, then please smash the like button. And if you are interested in software engineering, if you are interested in growing your software engineering career, then please subscribe to my channel so that I can see you in the next video.